August the 2nd and it's day two of the Trans-Canada Highway trip and you may think what on earth am I doing taking a picture of someone playing music well end of day two means we've gone from around Albany in the US and we've now gone across the border into Canada and we are in Niagara so you can probably guess by now as I pan round what you're gonna see is Niagara Falls yeah that's the first bit that's the part of Niagara Falls over on the US side um, not bad to the famous mega mist going down the uh, the falls but that's really the the appetizer because as I pan round we get to the major part of the falls which is the horseshoe falls and there we go um, it is really quite stunning but the, the thing that really surprises me having been here before is that the the falls themselves are fabulous absolutely fabulous is made of the mist again but around Niagara there's an awful lot of things that are nothing to do with the waterfalls uh, LED hats kiss me quick hats you can hear in the background uh, a band playing loud music which is okay but it seems to detract really from the falls anyhow uh, today's riding was extremely good very hot again um, it was the second day and really the first day where the riding quality has been first class we've been on uh, non interstates the interstates we were on were not too busy at all uh, decent surface not much traffic and it's just been a very pleasurable day uh, four one and a half hour sections we've got to Niagara in decent shape uh, ready to go out and eat and uh, look forward to our first weekend in Canada so that's where we are uh, we're at Niagara I'll just pan back one more time very quickly uh, so you can take a look there you go in terms of a, a first significant stop to see something of significance I think it's difficult to do much better than Niagara Falls there we go um, now we move on we'll speak again on the third day